All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. As you can see, the KA24 is out. I already sold it. I'm sure the gentleman that bought it from me uh, is absolutely loving it because it was a hell of a bargain. But first and foremost, the LS motor is in the Volvo. So there you can see the beautiful Volvo. The motor is actually mounted up. I'm using STS machining billet swap mounts. You can see they fit in the factory place. Absolutely beautiful. This is a uh, Holly knockoff uh, aftermarket oil pan. It's Chinesium grade from eBay. They're much cheaper on there. It comes with everything you need. Uh, you just have to trim the windage tray from the F body because uh, the, the, the pickup tube hits it. Uh, that's in there. Uh, the kit for the motor mounts also comes with a uh, sway bar spacer which i haven't put in yet but i will these are the recommended headers they apparently fit both forward and backward here you can see the clearance this is with all the truck accessories truck power steering truck uh, alternator truck everything you can see the clearance will be absolutely fantastic down here and if it was pointing backwards uh, supposedly, I haven't tried, but also clears the steering shaft. So there you have it, boys. Right now, the, the, the headers are pointing forward. I'm not going turbo just yet. I do have the turbo, the 7875 or whatever it is, uh, straight from China, which was uh, I was planning for the Ranger. But I'm just going to go NA for now, work out all the kinks, make sure the tune is working fine, and that's all. The next step up is um, I have to mount the transmission. It's in here. You can see the transmission's back there. I had to take the BFH. And by BFH, I mean BFH to make room for that huge 4L80. But I got it in there right now. It's supported by a cinder block underneath the car, but it looks like the cross member will be very, very easy. And I should be able to modify the existing uh, aftermarket drive shaft I have in here that I use with the KA. I just need to make it maybe an inch or two shorter and change the yoke. And there you have it. Um, fitment is obviously beautiful in here. No issues whatsoever. I took off the whole front end. I don't even know if I'm going to put it back in. I might make some tubular jazz because I really like how open it is. And I, you know, I like concocting things. So I might do that. This does hit the bracing underneath. This just needs a little trim and that'll be fine. But outside that, it's looking great. I still have to figure out uh, the drive shaft linkage for the shifter. Um, you know, just various uh, plumbing and tubing and things. I'm not sure if I'll be RTVing on the headers. I might just use gaskets because they're super cheap, the MLS ones. Look at all that room. Kind of crazy. So there you have it. Anyway, thank you guys. Keep following along. Subscribe below. Peace.